There we go. So, car number two, um, the 2020 Mercedes-Benz A220. I uh, got it in the shop right now. They came in like a damn parade. They came in with the 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 two C three hundreds, the A two twenty, and then they had like a GLA or or something like that, an SUV for them to ride back in. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be doing it uh, legal limit with a glare strip. So that's what we're going to be doing. Good? I think we're good. Just so you know, my my chat is in my ear. It's kind of going in and out though. Got the steamer all ready to rock. Let me go ahead and do a quick disinfect. Disinfect the handles. Inside handles, control modules, handles. Things I'll be touching. Same thing, driver's side. So if you guys never check it out, this is the A series, the A220, brand new for 2020. Uh, nose is a little dipped in a little bit further. I believe this is kind of like your basic entry level, like you want to get into a Mercedes, but you don't you don't have 120,000 for a C class. Um, it's nice. Let's take a look inside here. Got this digital dashboard across the entire top here. All this looks premium Mercedes. The only thing that I How really don't I help you. Wow. Because I okay. cancel, cancel because I said the word Mercedes oh maybe it was I think it is I don't know um, it's voice there's voice command clearly um, the only thing that I don't particularly like is right here the controls for the for the seat adjusts um, obviously you can have an option for AC seating as well as well as heated seats um, but this kind of looks a little cheap and cheesy to me but really is that's really the only thing the rest of the controls leather stitching everything else looks pretty pretty on par with mercedes i'm gonna go ahead and stop the engine and stop everything 140 miles on this puppy yeah this isn't too bad um it's not bad if you're into mercedes there you go <laughs> First of all, let's see if I'm going to be bottom loading. Now the C300, probably one of my favorite cars to do. I didn't de-steam this one, so let's steam the... Ooh. Sanitize. Actually, and I forgot to turn the steamer off, so that works. Put these in the cup holder. I've done this, I've done one or two of these before, so 
auto roll down on all of them. I'm pretty sure I can remove the sweeps. I could do on everything. Yep. Can I? Can I do it on the front? There we go. So this one, the front part of the door, this back part, it's held by like some sort of clip right there, but the front part will just pop right up. You can just take your finger. And get that sweep up. And then when you install it, you just gotta install it from the front back. Let's see this one. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that works. See if we can pop this down a little lower. Yeah, you can. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop that. Pop that a little bit. Good to go. Clips here and here. And actually, I think I dropped one. Can I get it out? I don't know. I got more clips, so it don't matter. And sweep out. Same thing here. Back corner pull. Pop one clip. And then you can get a bone in here. Pop this second clip that's right underneath this panel. There we go. Makes it a little bit easier. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, so actually there's three. One, two, three. And once you get three, then you get pretty good room to move around in here. These remind me of the older C300s where like this clip is right here, so you can't pull this back. But just grab the body in the front corner and pull back just like that you can pull the back just a little bit but it's not going to go out all the way come on baby out and up let's see Okay. This third brake light to get the panel off, because I take the panels off here on the third brake lights, I'm gonna need the pick tool. If you guys don't have a set of pick tools, um, they're very useful in window tinting. Maybe not so much this hook thing. I should probably throw this. I don't think I've ever used, I've never used that. So straight here, and then there's another one. This comes in a set of four. They're literally like four or five bucks. And that one's a 90 degree one. I don't think I've ever used a 90 one, but I guess it would be good to hook and pull something. I'm going to go with the little curvy curve. Here, what we're going to do... Come on. Is that there's a little hole inside the circle. And you're just going to pull out. Just like that right there. Same thing here. And that's it. And then pull it straight out and you're good to go. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit better here. There's the release clip. Come on. There we go. So if you look here, this is the back, the back here. And it's usually, hopefully you guys can see it. These clips right here, all you have to do is just put the Put a little pick in there, pull straight out, and that's going to disconnect it there. Hold on, I hear my phone ringing. Hello, this is Patrick. Doing well, how are you? Uh, 
Um, yeah, actually, could I give you a number and call my fiance? It, it's I pay for it, but it's her car, so she would be the one that needs to schedule it. Um, do you guys have? Do you guys have? You guys have uh, shuttle pickup and drop off? Yes. Okay. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And what's the what's the the range? You got to be within like 10 miles or something like that of the of the dealership. Okay. And do you guys? Do you guys come to pick up the car or do we have to go, we drop the car off and then she can get shuttled back? Beautiful. Okay. Let me actually, let me, uh, let me touch base with my fiance and see what she wants to do because, you know, with everything going on, she's, you know, a little weary about taking the kids out because we got a three-year-old and a six-year-old. So, um, but that, that car very, I mean, we might put 10,000 miles on that car this year. Maybe. No, maybe even five. I don't know. There's nothing on that car. So, um, well, I just, I'll check with her and see the severity of it and, uh, and what we can do. Are you guys open on the weekends or no? Okay. Well, let me touch base with her and I'll touch base with you back and, uh, get that schedule. Appreciate it. Bye. Likewise. Bye. See, I don't know why this Bluetooth is like still not even working. I'm fucking three feet away from this thing. Let's see, Z Customs, what's up? What's up, baby? So again, third brake light. Just go ahead and get a pick in there and pull out, just like that. And what that does is that that releases these clips, and then it literally just falls down. You have to slide it out a little bit, but then you can disconnect it, and you're good to go. Now you have access to the full back window. So now that I know that I can take the bottoms off. I can go long, long cut, and um, I'm gonna do the long cut and not have to shrink. Mercedes Benz, the pinnacle of vehicles, and they always get ATC, the cheapest of our films. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. Looking good. So it's like a tinter superstition, like you never put the box of film away you're working on until you're done done, right? So like I have 30, but then I have to do 15 on the back end. But like there's a lot of superstitious tinters that like if I take this off now and I put 15 on, I'm almost guaranteed to fuck up one of these windows and then I'm gonna have to take the 15 off, put the 30 back on and recut it. So um, out of habit, just in case, I'll go ahead and cut these and install them. That way, if anything happens where I mess up or I find out I do need to shrink it or something happens and I have to redo a window, the, the 30 is still on here and I'm saving a little bit of time. Expect the best, prepare for the worst. And the worst could be that my tank is freaking tank is running out Driver's side first. This 
is a fun little sticker. Let's see if we can get it off without any adhesive. Uh, the tiniest of adhesive still left behind. Let me know how the angle is. If it's bad, if I need a fixed angle, let me know. As always. Heard someone talking. So these seals are felt lined. So my goal is that once I get it in here, flat against the glass, I'm gonna slide it into place and then that's it. I don't wanna move back and forth, back and forth. Because if I keep moving back and forth, that's when you get felt in your installs. And this is how you can install glass with felt liners without having to tape the edges. That's just how I do it, you know? If you feel comfortable with taping the edges, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hell, I know some people that burn the edges still. Sometimes it kind of wants to shift on me a little bit. So that's why I roll it back down and kind of give it one more check. Maybe give it a quick little power stroke. Really tack it down in there. Good to go. Wipe off anything up here before it rolls home. Wipe anything off here. Double check because sometimes when you're rolling it up and down and you pull the sweep back in and out, you kind of lodge a little bit. It's not too bad. I got that film right at the edge though. Like right at the edge. I could have gone 
maybe a 30 second a little deeper you can't tell by looking at it but if i put a put a thing in there hold on you can tell there see that might be a 30 second so i could dip it in just a little bit a little bit deeper but if you look on the sides here i'm trying to find one there's not a single felt piece in there so that's a win that's a win i heard a question so i'm gonna go right back in here check the questions out Let's see what we got kind of heard a broken question with cheat speech to chat oh we got 11 it's good do you ever engage with the customers at the shop are you able to uh recommend tent uh z customs uh yeah i do engage with them because I, i'm the one that picks up the vehicles i'm the one that drops off the vehicles like this is the shop the main shop right and then this is a, a bigger building in the middle it's like broken up into three sections so this is the main shop in the middle is the owners of the building they run a company called pest bear and then we own the front end. we we have offices in the front end of this building and i'm not trying to go too too far because i don't want to disconnect um so i have to go up there to get the cars meet the clients talk to them check out their vehicles and then drive them back here can you hear the peacocks i heard them i don't see them so i do have interactions with them i never recommend tint uh though z customs is very important i i even went over that on my last live stream literally an hour ago is that i never ever 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 recommend tent what i do is i give them the options that they have available to them i let them know what options are legal and illegal and then that is it uh reason why is because let's just say you suggest 15 percent because that's what most people do in florida and it is what it is um and then let's just say you put the 15 percent on and the client hates it like it's way too dark maybe they're older people maybe they're older people from originally from like alabama where the legal limit is 35 percent and they just moved to florida and they didn't realize the legal limit is 15 percent which is way more than twice as dark as what they're used to so now because you recommended 15 and they hate it they're going to expect you to take it off and retint the whole damn thing at your expense so that is why i never recommend film i give options and, I, and the only thing that i'll recommend to people is that i do offer a good better best right so what i recommend to people and this is literally my verbatim phrase i say i i suggest to my clients that they go that they go furthest down the trough that they can afford stay go down as far as you can because the further down the trough you're going to get better heat rejection and better warranty coverage um but stay within your budget and that's the most important part because it's true i mean i have tint that's worth 700 dollars. i would love everyone to get 700 dollars worth of tent but i don't want to force and i can hard sell someone to buy my 700 hundred dollar package but i want someone to come to that conclusion on their own i don't want to hard sell them number one hard selling is a pain in the ass i feel that hard selling seems sleazy you know and then i feel like you're gonna get you're gonna get some pushback in regards to uh to buyer's remorse where where so which is where someone buys something and then after the fact they're like shit i spent way too much money you know and then they start then they start becoming a problem you want to blow out the value exchange you want to you want to, them to realize how much benefits and values and uh, features and benefits that they're getting from the selection that they're choosing so that they when they're when the the, the process is over they're very happy with what they're with their decision come on get in there Top corner doesn't want to go in, so I'm gonna roll it down a little bit more. Hopefully, make it a little bit easier for me. I'll push on the glass a little bit. Come on, you fuck! Get in there. There you go. Push it just a little bit more. Now I know. And sometimes you can feel it. Like I definitely, I, I definitely felt it in that one. Like you can push it to the edge. Like this whole side was right to the edge, and you can feel it hit that lip. And then you just push a little bit further and it just gets it past that pillar lip. And then that way you don't have an edge or a gap. 
even though there was no like actual light gap there is still going to be um you can still end up with a gap from the edge of the the pillar to the film which doesn't always look great if you're going to have an edge have an edge up here because this is only three inches four inches five inches versus a foot and a half Surprisingly, I didn't get any felt in there. So it's good up here, but it looks like it slid down a little bit down here. So I'm going to just whoosh, slide that front edge back up where it's supposed to be. Maybe even hit it one more time. Really hit it home. That's one thing. That's one little thing that some tenders don't even realize that when they roll it up, it, the film ends up sliding a little bit. And then what you thought was a 16th or an eighth of an inch gap is now a quarter inch. And you're, you're one of the people that you always make fun of that have quarter inch gaps. <laughs> you're lined up hit them home beautiful beautiful Can you use tap water in the tank? Yeah, I'm just gonna take this out because I don't know why, but for some reason is not working for me. Let me see if I can, hold on. Okay, that should be good now um could you use tap water in the tank i possibly you probably could i don't um and the reason why i don't is that i don't want contamination or or, or minerals that could possibly be in the tap water um we use we use filtered water that i go get from like walmart or Publix. you know most stores have an option where you can get water Prince Maloney said, where's your shop? Um, the shop I work for here, this is, this is fuck me. Shop I work for is located in Lutz, Florida. I also run my own thing called Sun Solutions Tinting. And I don't have a, I'm a mobile unit. So for that, so I am, uh, I go within an hour of Palm Harbor, Florida. So that's nor as north as Spring Hill, as east as Plant City, and as west as, or no west, no west because if I go west, I'm in the ocean. <laughs> and then as south as Bradenton. 
All right, I think this is gonna work. I'm gonna set this up right here. And now I should be able to hear any questions. It's going through that speaker now. Gotta love life hacks, right? Chris Maloney said I use filtered water from the tap, but I have a tint king with a metal sprayer and a very fine mesh filter. Ah, uh, yes, I do too. Um, I have a I have a 200 grit mesh filter, um, and my spray my tint keg. Um, actually, this isn't a tin keg, but uh, this is one I built. But I have another. I have a tin keg at home. But this has a a 200 mesh filter in the in the tip right here. I don't have an inline filter, but I also don't need one because I, this is why you see these bottles of water. I only use filtered water. Chris Maloney said, "Surprised you guys have work down there or up here. It's been slow since everything's been shut. That's why I finally get to watch a VID." <laughs> yes, sir um it is slow i mean we are slower than we normally are it is the springtime uh people got their money back from taxes so it should be popping uh but we're, but it's not obviously with the whole like coronavirus thing going along and whatnot uh but there is a little bit of work and that's why i'm doing that's why i'm doing so many live streams is because I usually have two people in this shop. It's me and another guy named Marty. Um, but he took the week off just to kind of help alleviate the shop from from uh, any pressures, I guess you could say, financially. Uh. Now you guys can hear what I hear. But instead of in my ear, you're gonna hear it through the thing. <laughs> mm. See, I'll be doing a version of these type of live streams when I'm also going in the field for Sun Solutions. The only difference is, is I'm not going to be able to communicate with you. I might, because my van actually does have Wi-Fi, <laughs> has built-in Wi-Fi. So like, I'm still trying to figure that out. Maybe I can get like Wi-Fi and then like a speaker. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure it out. Hopefully the angle's good. So I just finished with the F-150 live stream um, from this morning. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing streaming like crazy this week because I'm gonna take advantage of my dude not being here. Um, so we have this A220 right now from Mercedes. So at the end of this live stream, I am going to stop it because we are going to do one more. We're going to do a C300. I think it's a, it's a 19 or I think it's a 19. I'm going to do a full C300 as well. So that's going to be another one. So that'll be three different live streams for the for today. I like that. I like that you can like a burn and turn content like that. That's that's really the goal. For those of you guys that are curious as well, uh, I just started a brand new series. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, I am prime. My channel primarily is focusing on window tinting and the automotive aftermarket industry. It's not for like consumers or or anything like that. Um, but I started a consumer awareness series for window tinting. So basically. All, all most of the questions that clients ask before they go get their car tinted what's the difference between dyed film and ceramic film um, how to tell if your car is already tinted things of that nature um i'm starting a series of that just for for consumer awareness for gen for the general public and whatnot so feel free to share those videos because those videos are not geared towards window tinters they're geared towards clients um, so for those of you, uh, for those of y'all that have businesses, 
feel free to, to share those videos so that um, you know it can help inform your clients. Daniel Reyna super chatted nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh oh, I'm pretty sure I just heard a super chat. Give me a second, and I'm gonna go run up and check. Which I don't know why. I heard the inside speaker. I didn't hear the outside speaker. I could barely hear it. Are you not plugged in? Hey yo, Daniel Reyna with the $10 super chat. Definitely appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much for the support. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick test here. Patrick Lackman, sent test. There you go. Daniel Reyna said I'm doing today a Tesla 3 and Hyundai Tucson 2020. Nice. Daniel Reyna with the big work, baby. The big work. Appreciate you, the 10 spot. Do, 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 do. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Let's see. Tinting engineering at its best. <laughs> Let's see if that lasts. What in the hell is that? Um, Z Customs, what don't I like about doing window tent? I don't like removals. And I should clarify, I don't like removals that are old that, re that end up being scrapes. That is probably the worst part of the gig. Um, you know, just because it takes forever and it's very dirty work. Tesla is a cash cow. Yeah, you know what? I need to release it. I have a I have a video on certified tenor, um, and it's a three part series of me detailing how I tint the back window of a Tesla Model Three. Um, I just have to remember to get that uh, download it off there and actually update it. Oh, when I cut by hand? Um, yeah, I mean I get it. But I don't, uh, if you're looking for someone that cuts more by hand, um, I, would, I, I would definitely suggest to watch Matt's live stream. I'll cut by hand for a little bit with Sun Solutions um, until I get a plotter, but I am primarily a plotter. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a plotter cutter. I'm a burn and turn, volume guy, quality volume guy. Like it's nice to take your time and you know tint one or two cars a day, but I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to tint multiple cars a day, making some real cheddar. You know, and it'll probably slow down a little bit with Sun Solutions just because I'll have the ability to slow down. But when you work for someone else and you get basically a percentage of whatever jobs you do you got to burn and turn. You got to make money. Uh-oh. I think that that last comment was about removals. I'll do removals and here's here's my price points for removals and you're going to love it and or hate it. Uh, if the car is 1 to 5 years old, 
most likely doesn't need to be scraped so those so i'll charge 150 dollars for the sides in the back if a car is six to ten years old i'll charge 300 dollars just in case because every now and then i'm gonna i'm gonna run into a car that needs to be scraped and if this and if the uh if the whole car needs to be scraped i charge 450 dollars just for removal and i do that because i charge so astronomically is because some removals will take a few hours um, and I want to be make sure, make sure I'm compensated for my time. Hold on, my apartment's trying to call me. Wow, 21 people. What's Chris going Maloney on? Said I've been hand cutting 16 years. I'd gladly switch over to a plotter. <laughs> it's just some sometimes. A, I mean, a lot of times a plotter is very useful. It's helpful. It's quick. You know. The... Hey, Brian. I just got a missed call from you. What's going on? My name is Patrick. I'm sorry. I'm over at, uh, that's, uh, okay. Daniel Reyna said, I don't do cars more than five years old. Yeah, I see. Exactly. Don't do cars more than five years old. You know what happens when a car is more than five years old? It's fucking dirty. It takes longer. Shit's a little bit more broken. Um, I can't, I don't re remove panels on, on cars that are more than seven years old. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, dang it. Don't, it's 2020. No one leaves voicemails. I'm going to call you back or you can text me. <laughs> oh, yeah, the whole corporate thing. Copy that. <laughs> That's okay. A noise complaint. Daniel Reyna said, yup, your dental. Oh, you, you know what you must be talking about? You must be talking about the TV. The TV, hell, our soundbar, and, and there's a base connected to our soundbar, and the base is disconnected. Mohammed Abu Al-Raz said which software you are used for plotter. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no, um, and I'll be honest with you. We, I mean, we have a soundbar, like a badass soundbar. We have a badass TV system, but <laughs> um, the soundbar and the, and the, the sub is disconnected and the soundbar is on night mode all the time. That's it's literally the lowest it goes. And the problem is too, is that I'm hard of hearing. So like, even even like if I go to restaurants, like a waitress will talk to me, and I'll have to I I have to like shut everyone up so I can hear her. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much me. And I do apologize. I know I was, I, I threw on a movie last night and actually I fell asleep. So, and even my, uh, you know, even, um, even it woke me up. So it was pretty, I'm sure it was pretty loud. So I'll make sure to, to be mindful of that and keep the volume down a little bit, especially later in the evenings, like at 11, 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> no, no worries. Is it the downstairs one or the upstairs one? Okay. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. I feel I feel more bad because my kids don't never stop stomping. Like my three year old is go do 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 do. So I feel bad. For I mean he does. Right.
Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I don't know how long my downstairs neighbors lived there, but, like, he's been real cool, or she has been really cool about, like, the kids. So I'll just make sure I keep the TV down. No worries. Of course, of course. You have a good one, babe. Bye. Uh, apparently, I'm being too loud at night. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. When the apartment complex calls, you gotta answer. Uh, let me run through some questions here. Which software are you using for the plotter right now? We, I use Lumar's Precision Cut. Um, uh, afterwards, for Sun Solutions, I don't know what I'm gonna use. Probably not Lumar because they charge you a little more if you don't use Lumar Film. Uh, DAP with Expel, like they're being like very like proprietary. So probably leaning maybe towards film and vinyl design, but I haven't really chosen. Uh, not Tintech 2020, not pretty much film and vinyl design I've used and I know it works well, so. Uh, what plotter are you looking for for your own business? Um, I do like the new Roland GR series. They're beautiful, um, but I'm not picky. Roland's, Jaguar's, uh, Graftex, they're all really great uh, plotters. You know, they just, they work slightly different than others. I just prefer a Roland because I know how to, man I know how to work it. Any other plotter, I'll still figure out how to work it. It's just what I'm familiar with. Yeah, Danny Reyna, we're talking about that. And, you know, I hate, Danny Reyna says, I hate doing that one window repeatedly two or three times because it puts you behind in time. And he's talking about for cars that are more than five years old. Um, because they are dirty and the shit needs to look perfect, it, it just takes longer. I'm even contemplating, like, uh, cars more than five years old, 50% upcharge. Cars more than 10 years old, 100% upcharge. Just to like deter people from 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 wanting to work with me uh, what about classic cars i still do those i love the challenge pre-work uh prep work is all the same but windows usually have some damage um chris maloney talking about classic cars i don't work with classic cars it's not worth it for me it's the same reason why i don't work with exotic cars the same reason why i don't work with lamborghinis ferraris um, some Maseratis, I, I try to keep it in the, in the $150,000 range or lower. Uh, I've worked on one Rolls Royce Wraith, which is good, but like the, the, the risk goes up when you go with these types of vehicles. Um, if I break one window in a Rolls Royce, it's $2,500. I mean, even if they got the best package I have with sides, back, front windshield, sunroof, all in high end top tier ceramic. I might make $1,500 off of them, $1,700. So I would still be coming out of pocket if I damaged anything on a Rolls Royce. That is why I don't work with those type of vehicles. And people are like, yeah, I know, but that's what insurance is for. And like, yeah, that's, I mean, true. But if I have to file an insurance claim for a Rolls Royce that costs three or four grand, I mean, imagine what that'll do to my premiums. And in the future, they, and hell, they might even drop me. Some insurance companies will drop you. So, yeah, I don't do classic cars because people that own classic cars, they're hard, they're expensive. They're not hard, but like if you break something on a classic car, it's expensive to replace that brake. And then, so then now your, your, your risk on working on those vehicles go up, which make it very dangerous which is why I don't work on them. You know what I need to do? I need to buy my downstairs neighbor like some really nice Bose no no noise canceling headphones. <laughs> some really, really nice ones. I feel bad for them because my kids like, my three year old doesn't stop stomping and you, you can't control a three year old. Like they're just gonna keep doing it, um, and uh, and whatnot. So he seems they've been very very nice. That's why I'm trying to get everything together, and then I get the fuck out by my own house, and that way I can put the the music ain't even loud. It's loud enough for me to hear, and that's pretty much it. Um, it ain't even loud. I don't have the sub on. I don't have any of that. 
so like <laughs> it could get a lot worse like i love i want to turn on i want to turn on the sub and take off the night mode and uh, they think uh, they think it's rumbling now Fuck. i could fucking probably vibrate their bed boom But when you live in an apartment complex, you gotta be kosher. You gotta be civil. Can't be a piece of shit. Especially in an apartment complex that I live in. It's a nice one and I pay a lot of fucking money. So you gotta be nice. Oh, let me turn the chat back on. Shit. I was on the phone and I turned it off. Have I ever used clay bar for cleaning? I've never used clay bar. Five years of experience. I don't see the need. That's why I bought this my own house. The neighbors are still assholes. They just find my own other house, things to bitch about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a type of guy that you, you kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. Like if they got a problem with how loud I play my 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 TV, I have a I, I'm I'm a homebody. Like even though like I make videos and you know I I'm I, you know whether you want to call me an influencer or not, whatever a YouTuber, whatever you want to call me, right? Like I'm a I'm a, I'm a homebody. <laughs> Like I, um, I usually go, I, if I go out, I like going out with my fiance, spending time with her. Um, I don't have a lot of, <laughs> I don't have a lot of real friends, <laughs> like in person live. Like I can't go catch a beer with a buddy. Like that's, that doesn't happen for me. That's why like I lose my shit every year when I go to the tin off. Cause like I actually see my friends and we have a good time. We have, <laughs> so I should get yeah, a nice little gift. Just be nice. Like, here's some noise canceling headphones. Sorry for the loud noise. When the next time it happens, just put these puppies on and you'll be happy. I mean, could anyone bitch? If I gave someone a, a $300 pair of headphones, I was like, sorry for the noise. Here's noise canceling headphones. Like, I don't think anyone would bitch. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> sure. No worries. Yeah, um, about the clay bar. I've, I mean, I know Matt used the clay bar once on the back window and he said it worked out pretty well. It was really, really, I mean, the clay bar was dirty, which means that it was a lot, the window was a lot dirtier than he anticipated, but I don't know exactly if I would throw it in my everyday carry type thing. Maybe for like chargers, that's what I'm really curious about. Cause I asked Matt that, I said, I wonder if the clay bar would work with chargers, like chargers and so, certain Mustangs that like, um, you know that that have like the peanut problems with the defrosters like i even i'll throw the defrosters on to like avoid uh, avoid that and i still get i still get peanuts so i'm still trying to find like the best recipe to lay down film like that back window turn the car off
just like normal jet black interior i'm gonna go ahead and put a towel down and i'll show you why we put a towel down I'm gonna show you why we put it. I'm gonna, I wonder if these headrests come out. Uh oh. They might be able to make it a little bit easier. I would just hit my shin. Why? Why are Mercedes headrests so fucking deep? I don't get it. I don't get it. I'll put them in the trunk. headrests out I'm not gonna worry about the middle one because it's tiny but this is why you see that you see that footprint right there I put my foot down in here to like pull the seat out or something and this is what happens if you don't put something down it's gonna you're gonna leave you're gonna track feet print footprints now if you're not you're a $99 shop and you burn and turn and you don't give a shit then it is what it is um but if you're a respectable business with expensive cars you are expected to take care of that shit especially if you're paying people i mean if you're charging people a shit ton of money all right it's clean gonna do a quick cleaning on the back glass get some of the dust off dirt here this is not actually a dealer car um, it looks like it's a personal car from someone that works at Mercedes which I'm fine with that it's all right The blue scrunch, scrunch pad from uh, from Scotch. Yeah, the non-score pads. If you're going to do that, make sure it's the blue non-score pads. Daniel, I know you know that, but I'm telling for people that are watching. The green pads could score glass. Um, but these are the ones that I use. These are the scrub it pad refills. Browns are for usual, and the blues are a little bit more aggressive. That's for removal. Um, and they come on these pads here, just like this. I love it. This, this has gotten, this has made it to my EDC. Um, but if you look at my scrub reach, this paddle tool that has a scrub pad, I cut down, I cut them down and I put them on because they're good high quality scrub pads. I was getting the white scrub pads from like Lumar or other distributors and no one was having like a consistent uh, dealer. So like, I found good quality white scrub pads and then the next time I order they're shit they're falling apart it's it's ending up in my in my installs so I'm like no we're done we're done Jay from Triedge again I support people that support the industry Jay from Triedge he's very active he's involved with the industry and he makes a solid fucking product a little DSP baby a little DSP Dry Shrink Prep is one of the sponsors of the channel. You guys can check it out. Here, it's the healthy alternative to dryer sheets made of 100% all natural ingredients. Listen, if you're gonna work in industry long-term, I don't think dryer sheets are very healthy. I know they're linked to cancer um, and a number of different neurological problems, a number of different things. So I came up with Dry Shrink Prep. Look at that glaze, that's real nice right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and shrink now, and it's gonna shrink beautifully. For more information on Dry Shrink Prep, check it out, drystringprep.com, baby. You can get some more information from the videos provided, um, and you can also purchase. As well, keep in mind, through the month of April, 100% of the profits from Dry Shrink Prep um, is gonna be put to the side and donated to window tinters in need. So not only are you gonna be all buying a, an awesome product, but you're also going to be supporting window tinters that need help now.
since we're talking about sponsors, I might as well knock out the rest of it. Um, this live stream is also sponsored in part by Solar Effects Window Films. Uh, Solar Effects Window Films is the exclusive automotive window films for Sun Solutions Tinting. It's my pro my side, not my side project, but my main project, my mobile window tinting business. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out, don't sleep on Solar Effects Window Films. They're, they're, the guys over there are phenomenal people. They know how to take care of clientele. Um, and they have good quality film. So you can check it out. SolarFXWindowFilms.com for more information. Last but not least, this live stream is sponsored in part by TintWiz. If y'all are y'all been in the in a cave for the last six months and y'all don't know about TintWiz, they're pretty much awesome. <laughs> TintWiz is a CRM suite designed for window tinters. From acquisition to invoicing and everywhere in between, you can run your business more efficiently and more profitably with TintWiz. You can download it for iOS and Android. Check them out at TintWiz.com. Don't forget your free 30-day trial at sign up. And for the next, well, I think it's less than 90 days now, but for the next 90-ish days, I gotta get an exact date. Um, the, the guys over at TentWiz have waived any fees um, just to kind of help everyone through these crazy times. So check them out, TentWiz.com. Promo section over. I want to make sure I didn't miss any questions here. Uh, let's see how we are on the battery. 37%. We'll probably make do, but I want to switch it up. Daniel Reina. Said what I have noticed with the plotter, it seems that big chunks of film is wasted. Um, big chunks of film. Yeah, I guess you could. I guess you could say that. Big chunks of film. You know, like when I when you're watching me cut the back window. Is there a big? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But I don't charge people in the shop that I work for. Doesn't charge people. For the amount of film it takes to cover here i charge people for the amount of film i use to be able to do this so the way i, I that's why i don't ever save like some people want to cut this off and save that for a glare strip and blah 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 blah, blah. then you end up looking like a damn window tent hoarder um, with window films and all kinds of shit everywhere uh, so i just i roll that i roll that into the 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 cost of my of my uh jobs so i charge them for the full I charge per square foot and how much film I'm going to use, including waste. Make sure we're straight here. And that way I don't have to worry about it. Because in a business, and when you're running a business, running your own business, not only do you have to worry about quality installations, not breaking anything, employees stealing from you, making sure you're keeping, you're making enough profit margins to stay a business and a float making enough money to make you money so that you can live the lifestyle that you're accustomed to all these things why would i want to add on trying to figure out what the fuck i'm going to do with some extra square f you know extra film what i want to do is i want to figure out what i can do with uh window film cores you know plastic cores from the from the window film um because they're literally they're one use. Like I've, I've been trying for years trying to figure out what I can do. Or, or maybe there's like a, a return program. If anything, could we send it back to manufacturers? Could they use it? Um, and just and essentially recycle it because 
That's a lot of plastic being used every year and being thrown away. Could we reuse it? I don't know. That is one thing I'll give Lumar. The film shrinks like fucking butter. <laughs> like butter to a hot knife or a hot knife to butter. You know what I've been waiting for for months is the reason why I got the Go the GoPro 8 because the 7 um, they were manufacturing like external mic inputs so I can literally hook this up to my wireless microphone and I don't have to be two feet away from the camera. I can literally set up a camera right here on a tripod and go inside the car and tint from in there but I'm still hooked up to a mic so you guys can hear what I'm saying. Um, and GoPro was supposed to come out with a media mod and that, that shit was supposed to be out in December, late December. I'm still waiting for that shit. Cause once I can do that, then my live streams will be even cooler. Cause I'll have a wireless mic hooked up to me and I can give you guys different angles. I heard a question. So I'm gonna roll in here, answer some of these questions. And then we're gonna go ahead and install this back window. Uh, uh jared turner oh. said what squeegee are you using for the shrink process okay i'm gonna go ahead and answer some of these questions i'm gonna turn off the uh, here uh, let me go over some questions here uh is there any way is there a way to find out how, mu how many square feet are in a car yes i can tell you right now because i've done it 33 square feet on a it's 10 linear running feet so for a 44 inch it's going to be out 33 square feet for no 44 for a 40 inch roll it's going to take about 33 square feet. That's 40 inches wide and a 10 foot running. Um, and that's ballpark figure. That's three feet for two fronts, three feet for the, for the two back windows and four feet, four to five feet for the back window. I'd probably say five feet. So there's 30, 33 square feet, 10 running feet. Um, for large SUVs, like, uh, like Suburbans with the big back ends, those are 44 square feet, 44 total square feet. Um, and whatever that is a third more. So probably 13, 14, 14 running linear feet off the roll. So that's what I charge. I charge people, I charge people the same amount per square foot. Like my film costs are, are roughly not here at this shop, but for Sun Solutions Tinning, my film cost is roughly around 12 and a half percent. Um, so I charge accordingly to that. So, so I figure out about 12 and a half percent, give or take, and then I charge that same square footage for everything. So when no, no matter which way I slice and dice it, it's all even and the same. So question answered. Tin condition says solar effects shrinks as good in my opinion. And I'm not saying it doesn't. It's like, I just haven't used solar effects enough. Um, to 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 have formed an opinion yet obviously i'm going to be using them for a while so it's good but uh but i want to give you my honest opinion when it comes to that what squeegee are you using for the shrink process i'm using a mac tac this is a one-time purchase it's going to say mac tac on it i've used this same mac tac for three years four years but it's soft it's pliable not like a hard card i don't even know why i don't have my hard card in here where the hell is my hard card? Shit, I've had that hard card for years. Dang, I think I just lost my hard card. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I use the black hard cards, which I can't freaking find right now. The black hard cards are 
pretty pliable and bendable. Um, these, these new smart cards are very good too. They're bendy, right? But I use the MacTac because it's, it's here. So if I go over it and I end up creasing it, it's not a hardcore planted crease where I can't, I can just get lift up the film and heat it up and get that crease out. That's why MacTacs are very forgiving. He's got a MacTac. Tin Conditions knows, baby. Danny Reyna, thank you very much. Good luck on the uh, the Tesla Model 3 and the, I forget what other car you were talking about before. Again, thanks again for the $10 Super Chat, Danny Reyna. You're amazing. Appreciate it. Much love. Yep. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Get a little, get a little Joe in me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 12 o'clock right now. We're running good time. Let's go ahead and install this puppy. Dang, I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> I love the wet edge for shrinking. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up. I'm going to put this volume back up. Good to go. So this is the A220 2020 version. Uh, I am, this is the second live stream I've done today. I am going to do a third one. The third one's going to be on a 19 or 20. I can't, I don't remember which one. C300. That's going to be done right after this one. So I'm going to be stopping the live streams and restarting them. Because I gotta, I gotta upload different thumbnails and just the just for categorizing purposes, I don't want to keep running one long live stream. I'd rather do three shorter live streams, and that's more for the rebroadcast and for people that want to look this stuff up later. It makes it simple and easier for them. You could probably do a pretty easy reverse roll with this window too if if you're into reverse rolling i only reverse rolls um you know like trucks if i'm gonna if i'm not shrinking them or uh or coupes like mustangs because i can't frank i tried to frankenstein a, a, a coupe once and it was a fucking nightmare <laughs> trying to get into the car so now i just reverse roll all those Oppa, oppa. You know what I was watching last night? One of the classics. Uh, I think it's Hugh Jackman. Yeah, I think it's Hugh Jackman. Is it Hugh Jackman? Yeah. Um, Crimson Tide. Denzel Washington. Hugh Jackman. 1995 possible war nuclear war with russia oh, what a great movie i was 11 when that movie came out that changed my life i'll never forget that movie one of the best movies still to this day Uh oh. Opa. Hopefully this angle's good. These ones are always questioning. That's why I wear I I usually like wearing a head mount for the GoPro because if you are on a chest mount right now, you'd be looking at the back seat. Let's see. No, I'd say it's a pretty good fit. Pretty good fit. One of the 
few back windows that I can actually reach the bottom when I'm installing. That's crazy. Those sides tight. That's what I did. I had a hard card wrapped around a plastic uh, a microfiber towel, and I must have dropped it in the back seat of a black car. I love that hard card. I had that hard card for years. Dang, I'm about to cry. <laughs> you my boy, Blue! You my boy! That's another one. I just have to keep the smart card on me. Bump the edges. Get some of that moisture sucked up. Good to go. That's what that is. Don't forget your key. It's a damn car beeping. I thought it was my computer. Very nice. Very nice. There's a finger right here trying to pop up. Done. I don't know. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Always keep the sides tight, baby. Always keep the sides tight. Cause you can't you can't shrink left and right. You can only shrink up and down, baby. Popsicle stick for bumping. Chris Maloney. That's old school, bro. I like it. I dig it. Uh, popsicle sticks are awesome. I haven't used them for a while. Uh, I actually use, I just use little chiselers now. Um, but I, I have used popsicle sticks. They do work. They're hard. They don't mar, the, they're hard enough to bump out any, any little stuff you need to work out, but they don't like mar the film. Much respect on that one, man. There's, that's old school. I like it. Okay, here's the thing. I gotta line this fucking thing back up. <laughs> and it's blind. <laughs> Is it in? Am I in? I think I'm in. I'm in. I got lucky. Alright. The fun part. So this back glass has DSP all over it, right? Look at that, look at that, look. Look at that, how are you gonna clean that off? I'm gonna show you one of the best parts of DSP. If you guys use dryer sheets, you guys know that that shit takes at least two passes plus a fresh towel to clean that shit off. Dry shrink prep has cleaning properties within it. All you have to do is wet it down, start from the top, start squeegeeing down. Overlap by 50% as normal. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that. You don't have to worry about the crazy residue. What is it going to do? What is it going to do to the car? What is it going to do to the paint? Look how beautiful that is. That's one pass. One pass. If anything, you should pick up dry shrink prep just for that. Because you're going to save time versus a dryer sheet. So you're going to have to do it twice. And then you got to get a towel, microfiber towel out. You have to wipe the glass down. Done. Clean. Clean. That's it guys, 2020 Mercedes A220, 30% on the front, 15% on the back, 15% on the back window, Florida legal limit, thank you very much. Dang car keeps popping. I'm going to go ahead and return everything back the way it is.
before I even start doing any of this stuff, I'm gonna pop that steamer on, because right now it's on standby. That's the big boy Jiffy, by the way. It's on standby. Gonna move it over to steam. Seth gonna go buy some DSP right now. David, you gonna go buy some DSP? That's what's up, baby. That's what's up, appreciate it. David Weimer, drystringprep.com. You can go ahead and check it out. Jared Turner, said thank you for the videos. Keep up the great work. Jared, no worries, man. No worries. I do it because I love it, man. I love it. I love what I do. I enjoy what I do. And it's... I can't hear. Um, I love what I do, but I also like to teach people and, sh and show people how to do this shit. Sorry, I keep talking here. You see, now you guys can hear a little bit of what I go through. Like, I'll be in the middle of saying something, and then the uh, the speech to chat will go off, and then I have to try to keep talking, but listen to what the hell the speech to chat said. Here, hold on. Definitely gonna purchase DSP. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna take these out. Put my EDC back in. What I need to do is I want to get, um, I used to have like a little bin that I'll put, like all the shit I carry, I just put in here, right? And then I take it out. But sometimes I'll, I'll lose certain shit. I'm, I used to use a bin and it used to be perfect. Uh oh, uh oh, I hear talking, steamer's still going. Uh, are sun strips and front windshield tint not popular in Florida because here in Tennessee everyone pretty much has one shit Which reminds me I got to put a glare strip on this dang thing. So thank you for the remind um, Yes, they are popular here. We actually we do a lot of front windshields um, These ones just didn't because it is from a dealership and For the dealership stuff no matter what it is dealership work always gets legal tint always and that's because they don't want they don't want the blowback like if they put illegal tint on and someone runs a kid over they're gonna sue mercedes and mercedes is gonna try to sue us and shit rolls downhill so for dealership work it's always legal dang hold up you weren't lying david weimer definitely appreciate it brother definitely appreciate it just got himself a dry string press starter set and, and a two ounce refill pack. That's what's up, David baby. Weimer. Set ordered. Thanks, my, Pat. My man. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I hope you like the product. You're going to enjoy it. Just to let you know, it takes typically takes one to three business days before I file process. Now I'm just going to. They say, Shopify says I have three business days, but literally, I usually. Like that order will come through. I'll process it tonight and. I'll stop by the post office tomorrow on the way in and it'll be in. So you'll get it in no time. Thank you for the support, my friend. That's a crazy, that's a crazy looking glare strip. Is that even gonna, is that even gonna fit? No, that ain't even gonna fit. That's way off. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Take this off. I'm gonna put the 15, 12 incher on. And we're gonna make this work. So the glare strip is off, so I'm gonna show you what I do to make a, a glare strip work. And this is why, this is another reason why I love plotters. So this glare strip definitely isn't gonna work. Um, so I can do a couple of different things. Like it's weird, right? Cause look at this glare strip and look at the windshield pattern that they give us. Like it's not even close. So what I can do is I can go ahead and edit this easy editor and I put that over the windshield so then now I know 
David Weimer oh. said I have a C300. Those Mercedes visor strips are funky. Yeah, they're funky. Yeah, that's why I love plotters. Like, you can't do this with hand... I mean, can cutting, you have to go out and physically hand cut it. You know, same thing with... Uh, same thing with um, sunroofs. Sunroofs are a huge pain in the ass without a plotter. So I'm going to see if this works right here. It's going to be like that. I think that'll work. So I'm going to take that. Move that. Nope. I'm going to take this. I'm going to print it right here. And then I want this exact same one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to edit. Now I'm going to go to arrange horizontal mirror. Now it's going to flip it. Now the exact same thing for the other side. Hit plot. Boom. Now I have to trim this a little bit on the inside, but uh, I, at least I don't have to like put the whole damn thing on the glass and, and whatnot. I don't have to hand cut on the outside. There's a lot, a lot more time saving. Like this is a standard glare strip. Like maybe it took me like three more minutes to work on it, but three, you know, that's, that's it. This is this should be thirty dollars. Now with the people that are like, oh, I want a glare strip, but I want, I want it, uh, I want it seventeen and a half inches down, and I want it curved a particular way, and I want it at this angle, blah 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 blah. Yeah, now that's now it's a sixty dollar glare strip, fifty to sixty dollars. When I gotta start putting a knife <laughs> to glass, and because uh, sometimes the glare strips are a pain in the ass. It's not like it's not like a and not every glare strip's like a Silverado where you just burn and turn, like. Where can you order Solar Effects? You can order Solar Effects. You can check it out at solareffectswindowfilms.com. Um, and then, and then, depending on your location, they will. Uh, depending on your location, they'll have a a rep call you, whoever is in charge for that region, and uh, and you can go ahead and get taken care of. Now, fair fair warning, I'm going to tell you guys, the Solar Effects is not like other companies. If there is a dealer, a solar effects dealer in your area already, they're going to call that dealer and ask permission from that dealer. It doesn't matter if they do one car a month or if they do a hundred cars a day, they don't give a shit. They're going to ask that, that dealer if it's okay to set up another dealer, you know? And if that dealer says no, it doesn't matter if he does one car a month or a hundred cars a month. Um, if they say no, they're not going to set you up. And it's not because they're being dicks. They're doing that because they actually want to protect their current clientele. So if that's the case, then don't get bent out of shape. It is what it is. It's out of respect, you know? It's the same reason, just like if you guys use solar effects and someone calls solar effects and they're in your area, they're gonna call you first. Be like, hey, someone's interested. Can we set them up? If you feel comfortable, yeah. I don't know anyone that would be like, yeah, sure, set them up. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know who would do that, but it's possible. But they're protecting their current clientele, which is nice, which is a breath of fresh air because most companies don't give a shit. Most companies will be like, yeah, we'll set you up. I want to make more money. We'll set you up. Dang, I'm good at what I do because that shit even landed on the AS1 line. I didn't mean to do it, but it happened. Yeah, but they're good people. SolarEffectsWindowFilms.com Go ahead and check it out. And, uh, and if you go, do go over to them in the note tape, in the notes somewhere, anywhere, like you're not going to get a discount or anything else like that, but let them know that Patrick from YouTube sent you over there David and, uh, it'll be a lot better. Of course, David, of course. 
yeah, just let them know Patrick from YouTube sent you. Patrick Lapman from YouTube sent you. They're a sponsor, so they'll know. Um, it doesn't, I don't get paid any more or any less or anything else like that, but it just, it assures them that the content that I'm producing and the relationship that we have as a, as a sponsor and, and uh, influencer is getting them a return on their own investment. So it would help me out if you just told them that. So one thing about this car is, this car's freaking tiny. It's gotta be a girl's car, right? now it's a little dull hopefully you guys can see that and you're not looking at the roof or something David Weimer said I'm more of a beginner haven't been at it long and have just been using Lex and film nothing wrong with it but I was looking into some better products absolutely well I I haven't been into it long either brother I've only been doing this for four years there's cats like Daniel Reyna who's a supporter and longtime sub of the channel oh he's been doing this 35 years a lot of good a lot of good people in the industry man well, willing to help you know and that's the beautiful thing about the internet and the change because when I first started with I mean that was one of the reasons why this YouTube channel even got started is because when I first got into the industry no one would teach me no like local shops didn't want to teach me because they didn't want me to turn into their future uh, their future competition and I didn't have the money to um to spend on a three-day course so i'm like what the hell do i do i literally, literally learned everything online literally so if i can do it and i can build all this just off of being online you can do it bro you can do it glare strip in thank you very much for the reminder because that would have been the pain in the ass to have to bring that shit back in and redo it. Steamer set. Let's go ahead and de-sanitize everything. Huh. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. That's what I mean. That's why Matt and I do it. That's why Matt and I do it. You know. And keep in mind, truth be told, Matt, I learned everything from Matt. I learned everything from Matt. And I learned everything from Ralph Van Pelt when he actually trained. Just. You know, now he just pushes his his window films, and and that's not a bad that's not a bad rap. It's not me like talking shit about him or anything like that. It's just like he could have been the guy. He could have been ten times bigger than me. He could have been the guy that was uh, that was the teacher for the industry. You know what I mean? And and he went a different route. It's not no big deal. You know, maybe he's probably making good money off his films. It is what it is. But. Uh, but yeah, shit happens, people change, people move on. I think, to be honest, I think I was more heartbroken than anything else, because I, le I learned everything from from Matt and Ralph four years ago. They're the only ones in the game. And at the time, Matt had left. He uh, he left the shop he was working at with his dad, and he uh, he went to go work for 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 someone else, which he just stopped doing videos, which left pretty much just Ralph that was was releasing videos at the time still. Well, tutorial videos. 
And I had lived in Alabama at the time, and I went and drove the three hours to go meet Ralph. Um, this is when I had like a little following. This is when I had like maybe a thousand, two thousand followers, maybe. And I was super stoked to meet him. And I think he got upset with one video that I made that wasn't about his film, it was just about film in general. And I was probably, my information was probably off because I was so new to the industry. But I wanted to work with him to collab, to like do some things together. And he just, he just talked about his film. And then I'm like, I'm like, okay. So I think that's why I'm like, oh, I'll just do my own thing now. Beautiful. Everything's sanitized. Cleaning up the windows right now. Says I know Matt and Rick. Their shop is five minutes from me. Oh, you know Matt and Rick. Nice. Nice. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Matt's new setup, he's doing, he's doing like my Sun Solutions project. He's doing the same thing. He's calling it. He called it uh, Detroit Tint Studio, and he's got his own garage, home garage, set up as a live streaming studio, a giant live streaming studio. It's amazing. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out at Tint Stuff. Um, really awesome stuff. And he's basically doing what I'm doing, but live too. You know, he's. He's tinting cars, he's answering questions a lot. Like, fuck. Oops. Ah, thank you. Jeezel. <laughs> Don't forget about the head seats in the trunk. Y'all saving me today. <laughs> Y'all, I almost forgot the glare strip. I almost forgot, I forgot about the headrest in the back. Keeping me on my toes, keeping me honest. I think that's as low as it goes. Burn us, burn us. All right, let me turn this off. Let's take a look at her. Let's do a quick walk around. There she is. 2020 Mercedes A220. Beautiful car. Got the glare strip, 15% glare strip down to the AS1 line. 30% on the front windows. 15% on the back door windows, plus the back edge window. This is Florida, Florida legal limit. Saw a little finger right here. I'm gonna knock that out. Desanitized everything, cleaned the windows, put a sticker on there, locked the windows, instructions on the deck, the whole nine. All right, two minute warning. Y'all, shoot me with some questions that you guys might have questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close out this live stream. Keep in mind, I have another live stream, I, I'm doing a C300. Um, I'm gonna probably reset, reload my water, probably another 30 minutes you're gonna see it. So keep in mind for that. Thank you very much guys for watching and uh, I'll catch y'all next time.